Hello, this is Salvatore Vincidero. Welcome to this video of the USS Alabama Memorial Park in Mobile, Alabama. The USS Alabama Battleship Memorial Park is dedicated to honoring all Alabama veterans who have participated in all conflicts of the United States Armed Forces. The USS Alabama is located in Mobile Bay with easy access off of I-10. When you arrive at the park, there is an entrance fee for you to park your car so that you can see the outdoor memorials that they have on site. There are plenty of military planes, tanks, cannons, and other military vehicles throughout the park. There is a place for you to have a picnic, and there's also a pier for you to go out and see the USS Alabama from a different vantage point. You can also bring your fishing pole and fish in Mobile Bay right in front of the USS Alabama. Admission to sea inside of the USS Alabama battleship and the USS Strum submarine is $15 ages 12 and up. Ages 6 through 11, $6. Ages 5 and under, get in free. I would highly suggest visiting the Alabama Welcome Center or the Mobile Tourism Center so that you can get $2 off of an adult admission to the park. You can also use your AAA membership to get a discount to get into the park. Living History Crew drill dates occur throughout the entire year and I highly suggest that you visit the USS Alabama website for more information on special events. Visitors are cautioned that the construction of a battleship and submarine offers many hazards, including low doorways, high door sills, and obstructions around the deck. So please be careful when you visit the USS Alabama and the USS Drum submarine. Before going on the walking tour of the ship, I would highly suggest viewing the 30-minute video of the history of the USS Alabama as it will give you a better perspective of what you are about to tour as you're walking throughout the ship. You are now viewing video of the walking tour. You just viewed the bakery, this is the crew's mess area, and now you're going to see other parts of the inside of the USS Alabama. USS Alabama was also called BB-60, was the fourth and final member of the South Dakota class of fast battleships built for the United States Navy in the 1930s. After entering service, Alabama was briefly deployed to strengthen the British home fleet, tasked with protecting convoys to the Soviet Union. In 1943, she was transferred to the Pacific for operations against Japan. The first of these was the Gilbert and Marshall Islands campaign that began in November that year. While operating in the Pacific, she served primarily as an escort for the fast carrier task force to protect the aircraft carriers from surface and air attacks. She also frequently bombarded Japanese positions in support of ambitious assaults. She took part in the Mariana and Palau Island campaigns in June through September and the Philippines campaign in October through December. After a refit in the early 1945, she returned to the fleet for operations during the Battle of Okinawa and a series of attacks on the Japanese mainland in July and August, including several bombardments of coastal industrial targets. Standing by when they get tired. This wheel turns the crankshaft you see on top. 
this internal force again. Uh, understood. Good job down there. Uh, it looks like he's down down there for the day. Now we have to get Clarence up before he absorbs too much nitrogen into his blood and gets the beds. It's just one of the many dangers really busy now as we haul Clarence out of the water and remove his equipment. You there, prepare to push away. Alabama assisted in Operation Magic Carpet, carrying some 700 men home from the former war zone. She was decommissioned in 1947 and assigned to the Pacific Reserve Fleet, where she remained until 1962 when she was stricken from the Naval Vessel Register. A campaign to save the ship from the breakers yard succeeded in raising the necessary funds, and Alabama was preserved as a museum ship Mobile Bay, In 1992, the USS Alabama battleship was used as the filming location for the movie Under Siege. Under Siege was an action thriller film directed by Andrew Davis and written by J.F. Lawton. It stars Steven Seagal as an ex-Navy SEAL who must stop a group of mercenaries led by Tommy Lee Jones on the U.S. Navy battleship USS Missouri. USS Alabama could be an entire day activity for you and your family. I would highly suggest allowing two to three hours at least to visit the ship itself and then go and take a break where they have a little food area and you can go and buy some ice cream or maybe have lunch. Then after that I would go into the aircraft hangar here and take a look at all of the various planes and transportation um, that they have on display here uh, everything from World War One as you can see in this Model T Ford to um, other vehicles and aircraft from World War Two and even to modern day. Um, there is also a flight simulator that uh, people can enjoy inside of the aircraft hangar and then I would walk outside and spend about uh, 30 to 45 minutes enjoying the exhibit of the USS Drum, which is a submarine. This is the USS Drum, SS-228. It is a Gato-class submarine of the United States Navy, and the first ship named after the Drum. Drum was laid down on September 11, 1940, at Portsmouth Naval Shipyard, Kittery, Maine. She was launched on May 12, 1941, sponsored by Mrs. Patrice M. Halcombe, wife of Major General Thomas Halcombe. Commandant of the United States Marine Corps. The boat was commissioned on November 1, 1941, with Commander Robert H. Rice in command. Drum was the 12th of the Gatto class 
but was the first completed and the first to enter combat in World War II. She is the oldest of her class still in existence. The submarine's emblem of the octopus banging the drum was created by Walt Disney. Walt Disney Studios designed many unique emblems for the military units throughout the United States Armed Forces in World War II. On November 22, 1943, while on her 8th War Patrol, the drum suffered a severe depth charge attack. The aft door frame upper hinge and adjacent plating in the conning tower, common on early Gatto classes, cracked and was letting in water at about 2-3 to three gallons per minute when submerged. The drum headed immediately for Pearl Harbor, where an attempt to fix the door was made by replacing the after bulkhead with a new one without the problematic aft door. However, on a test drive on January 1, 1944, the conning tower began to buckle. Lockwood sent the USS drum to Mare Island for an overhaul and an entirely new conning tower. At Mare Island, she received a new, much stronger Balo class, thick hull conning tower. This makes the drum very unique. While on her 10th war patrol, the drum sank a sampan in a battle surface attack. Two Japanese prisoners were taken aboard. The drum made 13 war patrols in World War II, nine of which were deemed successful. Every submariner on board for each successful patrol earned his submarine combat insignia pin or else earned another star for their submarine combat insignia pin. She earned 12 battle stars for her service in World War II. The crew claimed to sink 27 enemy vessels, but Jenak, the Joint Army-Navy Assessment Committee, officially credits the drum with the sinking of 15 enemy vessels for a total of 80,580 tons. Discrepancies between submarine crews and Jenak are common for all submarines throughout World War II. This is the eighth highest of all World War II submarine confirmed sinkings. The USS Drum was decommissioned on February 16, 1946. On March 18, 1947, she joined the Atlantic Reserve Fleet, New London, as a training submarine one weekend per month for Washington Area Naval Reservists in the Potomac River Naval Command. The Drum was reclassified as an auxiliary research submarine on December 1, 1962. In June of 1968, USS Torsk replaced the drum as a training submarine for Washington Area Naval Reservists. The drum was then struck from the Naval Register on June 30, 1968. Note that the drum never went through post-war conversions like many other Gatto boats that survived the war. Some minor modifications were made due to serving as a trainer but no major conversions like Guppy or SSK. The USS Alabama Battleship Commission, pleased with the results of the USS Alabama Battleship as a museum since January 9, 1965, decided to try the same thing with the submarine and save the drum from scarping. On April 14, 1969, she was transferred to the USS Alabama Battleship Commission. On May 18, 1969, USS Drum arrived under a tow at Battleship Memorial Park. She was open to the public on Friday, July 4, 1969, and became the nation's first submarine to be on permanent display as a museum. Beginning in the early summer of 2001, the Drum was moved from the muddy Gulf of Mexico waters beside the USS Alabama battleship and placed on dry land on a permanent fixture beside the newly constructed aircraft pavilion. A major reason for the move was for preservation. Not long after being placed on land, the drum was sandblasted and painted. However, this paint has been proven to not stick very well over time. Besides the exterior concerns, the interior has also had maintenance and restoration issues. She is showing her age. Volunteers are always needed to help in any way that they can. You may not know this, that the Battleship Memorial Park operates independently from tax funds. Therefore, revenue from the visitors' admission to the park and proceeds from sales in the gift shop are always spread out thinly. Visitor traffic and awareness are vital for the future duration of the drum and the USS Alabama.
This is Salvatore Vinciguerra. Thank you for watching this video of the USS Alabama Memorial Park in Mobile, Alabama. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to this channel, and have a great day. Thank you.